Hey there, so today I'm going to be showing you 10 games that actually run on the Intel N95. Now the testing is going to be done on this B-Link Mini S12. Now the Intel N95 is a 4 core 4 thread CPU with a max turbo boost of 3.4 gigahertz. And the iGPU is the UHD Graphics 16 EU version. So we have 16 execution units with a max clock speed of 1200 megahertz. Well, four cores and four threads can be pretty limiting in 2023 the biggest limiting factor here is actually that gpu 16 execution units is pretty abysmal in comparison to what else intel actually has to offer with their fastest igpu right now topping out at 96 execution units so this is an extremely limited igpu but we can still do some gaming on here we can actually play certain types of games and i'm going to show you right now 10 different different games that you can actually play on here right now. So let's get started. So to start with things off, we have Forager. This fun little 2D game involves you pretty much just collecting resources around you to gain XP and the materials needed to craft new items so that you can build up your own territory around you. And you can eventually end up buying the land around you and expand out so you can explore more and build out more. It's a very fun and little interesting 2D game that runs perfectly on a little system like this. The 2D graphics are very simple, but but extremely stylish and you're going to be able to have an actually very enjoyable experience out of this so this is the perfect type of game to pair with a system like this and the game's actually currently available on the game pass so you can definitely check it out for very little money now another game that runs on here absolutely perfectly is dead cell an absolutely incredible 2d side scrolling action adventure game that has gotten a lot of buzz recently because of the new castlevania crossover that it has going on and thankfully with a system like this you're not going to miss out on that kind of content it runs absolutely perfectly on this system which means you are not missing out on any of the experience of playing this game and it is another game that is currently available on the game pass so definitely check it out and it is one of those games that you can pair perfectly with a high refresh rate display and get a lot of enjoyment out of it now the next game is moonlighter this indie action RPG has been an absolute gem. It involves roguelite elements where you go into this dungeon and explore and try to grab as much material as you can because during the day you actually open up a shop and sell your goods. So while it actually has a really fun action gameplay to it, another really fun aspect of the game is just trying to figure out what are the best prices to sell your goods for and how to maximize the profit you can make. And it runs beautifully on this system. And it is another the game that you can actually grab with the game pass next up is my friend pedro this awesome action indie game is absolutely incredible where the whole focus around it is pretty much just making it extremely easy for you to get some absolutely awesome stylish kills that is a very light-hearted and goofy narrative but in general the gameplay is absolutely incredible and it runs really really well on here while it's not a perfect 60 fps average it's very close to that and the 1% lows don't dip down low enough to make the experience of playing the game bad so in general you're going to be able to actually play through the game perfectly fine and it's definitely worth a go because you're going to be able to feel like john wick just mowing through all these hordes of bad guys next up is neon abyss now this 2d action indie game has the usual roguelite elements to it but has extremely fun gameplay and one of the unique aspects to it is that you you actually collect these eggs throughout the gameplay and as you play through they will start to hatch and you will get creatures that might give you benefits or might even work against you so it certainly has some interesting elements to it and it was extremely fun to play through and it runs absolutely beautifully on this system so i would definitely recommend giving it a go now another fantastic game that runs really well on here is nuclear throne the game itself on pc has a 30 fps cap that 
that means that this hardware is actually able to still stay well within that and give you an overall fantastic experience and this is a really fun game that gets you into the action extremely quickly and has insane levels of replayability so if you're the kind of person that just obsesses with trying to get the absolute perfect run this is going to be an extremely fun game for you to check out and you're going to be able to do it on a system as low end as this now of course a game i have to mention is vampire survivors a game that came out of nowhere and pretty much took over the internet with extremely simple but ultra addicting gameplay and luckily you can see here that it performs absolutely beautifully on this low end hardware and you're going to be able to get the absolute perfect experience trying to play through a game like this and of course with the rising popularity of this game it has pretty much spawned a plethora of clones that all equally run on pretty much anything so rest assured you're going to be able to get a fantastic experience in pretty much all of those games on hardware like this now another fantastic game that you're actually going to be able to play on here is Into the Breach. An absolutely fantastic turn-based monster fighting game that I had a lot of fun playing through. And you're going to be able to get some fantastic performance on here. And the best part is since it's turn-based, performance doesn't even really matter too much. In general, it's going to be a fantastic experience and Epic Games has actually given this away for free before. So you might actually just have it in your library. Now, another game that has been given away before by Epic is Halcyon 6. Now, this is an indie game that I actually bought myself. If you've ever wanted to pretty much play out your own Star Trek campaign, this is the game for you. It has so much depth to it and the combat is extremely extremely enjoyable but it's really the crew management itself that i found the, to be the most enjoyable aspect to it and it runs perfectly on here the gameplay itself suits this type of hardware perfectly i think you're gonna have a lot of fun on here and again it has been given away by epic before so definitely check it out because it was one of my favorite ones that i actually tried out and lastly another game that is going to give you some pretty great levels of performance is enter the gungeon the game itself does not give you a 60 fps average but the fps that we do get is extremely consistent which means you're going to get a more than playable experience while playing this so in general it is pretty much a perfect experience and i don't think you're gonna have much to complain about on here but as you can see these are some of the games that you can actually play on this type of low-end hardware there is a huge collection of these incredible indie 2d titles that you can play on hardware that is pretty much extremely cheap you can pick up this B-Link mini PC right now for less than $180 on Amazon right now. Check out that Amazon affiliate link down below to see what it's priced at right now. But anyways, I will see you guys next time.